What's up YouTube? My name's Lee. Backwards that is Eel. My dog's name is Wander. And we live in my 1978 Dodge B200, otherwise known as the Tradesman 200, the most customizable van of its time. I call my van the Mr. Machine because you never know what to expect. It's breakdowns, driving on dirt roads, I've hit a rock before. It's always something. But I made the decision to start living in my van about a year and a half ago. I was transitioning from living, you know, one place. I was moving out, started living in another place. I realized roommates suck, paying rent sucks. So my boss at the time, he was uh, telling me about, you know, why don't you live in your van? Showing me his trailer, his RV, on the side. If if he didn't have a wife and kids, he'd be living in that, you know. So I sat down. I made a a pros and a cons list. You know what what's good about living in a van, what's not. I ended up coming to the conclusion, you know, what do I have to lose if I if I don't like it. I'll go back to what, doing what I was doing before, you know, no no big deal. Try it. Might as well try it. Can't can't lose. So, it's been a little over a year now of living in my van. It's been, you know, pretty basic. I haven't had a ton of money to fix it up the way I want to, but I'm loving it. Van life is freaking awesome. Sorry. It's exciting though. I it's total freedom, uh, the ability to move at any time, just go wherever, it's just freedom, no bills, no, well, there's bills, but no rent, it's the, the biggest bill of them all, uh, you know, the ability to feel at home wherever you go, have everything you want with you, it, I like it. It's not for everyone. I really like it. Anyways, let me give you a little tour of the van I live in. Let's start with the power source. Um, I mean the lights, like what you see above me, by the way, these are all just battery powered, so no worries there. They don't, I could have them on with no power source, just batteries. It's pretty cheap. Um, but the ability to be able to charge electronics is a pretty important thing. So what I did is I bought a deep cycle marine battery from another vanner. Um, got that for about 50 bucks. Uh, the reason why to get deep cycle specifically or a marine battery, same thing is they are actually meant to be run down all the way, charged back up, run down, charged back up, run down, charged back up. So that's the way to go. Um, get a back battery. Then I got a power inverter, which converts the power to a normal plug, uh, to be, you know, what we see in houses. So that was pretty important. I got that for, I got a thousand watt power inverter for 25 bucks which a thousand watts it's more than more than I need um, the other thing I got was a battery isolator uh, what the battery isolator does I got that for 20 bucks by the way from brand new from a trailer supply store um, and that separates the back battery the deep cycle battery that I have from the front battery of my car um, that way I could char I could run down totally run down the back battery all the way and still be able to start my car. You know, always always be able to start my car. It doesn't affect the, the front battery. So that's majorly important. I would recommend that to be one of the first things for people to put in their van, honestly. Everyone can do whatever they want, but it's what I would recommend. Um, I mean, basically, I was looking at about 150 bucks after wires and everything for a power source. So that was pretty awesome. Um, let's see, what else? 
Uh, oh yeah, one thing I wanted to mention too is the battery isolator, the back battery, it charges the same as the front battery, so you have to drive to charge it. It charges off the power alternator. Which right now for me, I'm not driving that much, so it's not working out so good. I really, really want to get a, a solar panel, but it's not gonna happen for a little bit. Uh, dislocated my hand and broke it skateboarding at the beginning of this year. And it really, you know, hurt me financially and the ability to work was lost for a little bit, which just wasn't good. But it's all right. It would have hurt a lot worse actually if I wasn't living in a van, so. That's kind of cool. Um, a solar panel is definitely something, something I will uh, get in the future. Uh, let's go under my bed. Basically, the battery, the power inverter, those are both under my bed. Also, I have subs, subwoofers, which, and an amp to power them. It's totally pointless, to be honest. I'm listing them on Craigslist very soon. I want to get rid of them. That space is valuable, especially now that I have a dog. I need to store more stuff, so. Probably gonna sell those subwoofers. Not even gonna miss them. Don't care. I just want them gone. I might even give them to someone for free. Um, also, under my bed I have skateboards. I've got a storage of bungee cords, some towels, rags, extra sh set of sheets for my bed. Um, two plastic bins for clothes, which holds the warm weather, or cold weather gear rather, stuff that keeps you warm, sweatshirts, jackets, thermals, stuff like that. The other one has socks and underwear. Um, there's two more clothes bins I have sitting on the side, one's for shirts, one's for pants, and it also acts as a little table. Uh, actually, what uh, what the what my phone, which is recording me right now, is sitting on right now, along with a few other things. Um, I have, you know, for for food storage, I've got a little cooler. Um, the front seat, something I think is really cool. The front seat of my cut my van spins around. Uh, both of them do it, but. The driver's side one, it gets stuck, and since it's so old, it's just from 1978, the mechanism to move the seat forward and back doesn't work quite right, so right now that's out of commission, but the passenger side one does spin around, so it's pretty cool. Uh, another hack that I thought was really cool to add more storage space was I got the shoe, uh, the overhead shoe bin storage. I don't know who the hell has 24 pairs of shoes, but that's what this was for. I cut it apart and stuff. Now it holds like things like trash bags, plastic sandwich bags, some dog toys and stuff, uh, toothbrush, just various random stuff. I, ha I have them on the side doors and also in the back. The one in the back has more, mostly like random tools or tapes or like glues and stuff. I don't know. Stuff that I might need for my van at some point or another. Um, another thing I think is cool, I installed a s <laughs> animal sound maker. Got a speaker in the front. Basically I can bark, moo, horse sounds, ice cream man songs whole bunch of array of stuff. It's got sirens. I don't fuck with those because yeah, totally illegal. Not that you can go around the street making animal sounds, but yeah, uh, I got the animal sound maker for $10 off eBay if I was worthwhile. Uh, I also have PA system, um, CB radio, which Currently is out of commission right now. Uh, a lot of stuff. 
it's a long story. But uh, I carry some art supplies in here. Um, I've got a piece of glass for cutting stencils and stuff, which I haven't used in a while. I need to get on that. <laughs> uh, what else? I mean, for showers, a lot of people ask me, how do you shower? I go to gym, got a gym pass. Easy, it's nice, I like it. $20 a month, can't go wrong. Um, right now, I mean, my van's pretty basic, but there's a whole lot more that I wanna do to it. Some money is an issue. Um, the walls right now, by the way, they're covered in um, insulation, which you might have noticed. <coughs> but uh, I've got a whole project to fix up these walls. And then once they have wood over them and stuff, I'll be able to make shelving and a whole bunch more storage space. It's really a project I need to get on sooner than later, but I've been too busy enjoying life, exploring, <laughs> doing fun stuff instead of work, I don't know. Uh, right now I do have a job, I'm working in San Francisco. Um, I've been here for about almost three months now. Before this I was in Orange County area working for skate skate company uh, down there. It's kind of hunting the beach area, Costa Mesa, Newport Beach. Kind of lived all over all those cities, all over. But now I work for a company called Freeboard. It's like a snowboard on wheels. Um, I mean, vanning it teaches you it teaches you a lot about life. Actually, um, everything is about short term versus long term goals. Sometimes. You have big goals, like, I want solar panels, I want, you know, I want to put a sink, I want to put a stove, I want to put a fridge, I need more battery, I need all this stuff for this van, but I don't have all that money. So, what's the most important? You gotta have short-term goals before you can get to your long-term goals. Stuff that just, it works for now. You know, it works for the meantime. Sometimes your short-term goals even become, they end up becoming your long-term goals, there's nothing you can do about it. But um, it's good to have some temporary, you know, short-term goals is something that I really found out with vanning. Um, a bed, a battery source, those are the basic, like, first things to do. Um, this, this is my first video, so bear with me. I'm sorry. I don't really know what else to say. Um, I'm sure you guys have tons of questions so ask I will I will do my best to answer but uh yeah for now that is it so thank you for watching hopefully it didn't bore you to death my story is not super special but all I'm here to do is show you that van life is an option I love it, you know, I'm ready to move at any point in time. If you don't like your neighbors, you just drive to the next neighborhood. Uh, right now, I'm in San Francisco, and it's awesome up here, so it's very easy to get away with it. But subscribe, let me know what you like, I'll be making lots more videos about adventures, stuff like that, I don't know. But anyways, peace. Peace out.